And here's this ten dollars and dimes I'm going through. The two, 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 and two. No. Uh, well, let's see here. I can see. I'm not really seeing anything stand out at me. You know, just jump at me. And say, yeah, what do we keep? And then like I said this is the second roll. I haven't seen nothing yet. I'd love to find a Mercury Dime. Those things are amazing looking. But as you can see, nothing standing out yet. But one way to find out. So I'm going to go through these and find anything special. And if I do, you'd be the first ones I let know. So we ha all of us can get more information together. Well, as you can see, I got the pennies unrolled ready. Got a few with discoloration on them, as you can see, right there and right there. They're just white, probably that white crap I'll make most pennies do. And their first roll, this is my second roll. It'd be cool if I got me a wheat penny or something else in here, that'd be pretty sweet. Just remember, people, when you're going through your pennies, always weigh them with a digital scale that gives you those that exact printout so when you put a penny on there I'll throw a penny on there to show you that's what the penny should weigh about 2.5 could be a little under could be a little over but if you get a penny that weighs 3.1 or higher then you might want to check it out because it actually might have a die chip on it and or it could be a wheat penny, or it could actually be an Indian head penny, which will be very noticeable. But uh, let's weigh these pennies out and see what we got. So stay with me. Well, my YouTube fam out there, as you can see, I went through both rolls of pennies, well, all the rolls of coins I had on my table, and I got those. Those. I kept that for one reason, and I'll show you why. I mean, it's still worth a penny, but I'll give you I'll show you a reason why. I'll show you right up here. <clears throat> oh wow, this is way glossy. Okay. It's a 2023 D penny. And right here where it says VDB, right there. If you get a VDB with an extra V, that makes that penny worth some money. So, always keep an eye out for that type of penny. I mean, there's also pennies out there where his ear might be doubled right there. It could be also doubling in the letters. And they said, this is one of those this lame ass shield pennies that are pretty weak. But, always check your pennies. I found a lot of 2003s, but 23s, sorry. And no VDBVs. So, there's not a lot of pennies worth of a penny. But I'm going to keep looking because that'd be a great piece to my collection. But let's take a look at what I did find, shall we? On the first roll, we got four pennies. 1981. Uh, no doubling there, but he's seen his day. Doubling, got the FG right there in the corner, as you can see. I'm watching as well. Nothing. So it's copper. 1970D. Nothing so far. No doubling I can see. Maybe if I cut like a source to cut some shadows. But nothing there. 1976 D. Uh, nothing there. Uh, let's try to cut a light source again. Get the glare off my window. Okay, that really don't help. 
So give me a second so I can put more light right over here. There you go, that's better. Still no doubling. I guess I should have left my light source alone. I think I've ever seen a penny actually had that much scrap on it, but I bet you if I clean it up, I'd probably get rid of that stuff. And then the last penny of the first roll, 1982D, and uh, well, as you can see, he's seen his day. Now, first penny of the second roll, 1982 we in 1978. Die chip with a D. No doubling. I can see. Yeah, he's seeing his day too. He goes into copper piles. Ooh, 1961. And look at that D. Now tell me you see a D like that on a penny before. That's got to be a big old mistake right there. I will do more research on it and find out what that D, but I've never seen a D look like that before on any coins. That's so a 1961 D's that don't have that mark on it, I don't think. As you see, we got God we Trust. No doubling there. No doubling there. I'll keep that one just because the D. It's a freaky looking D. And then let's see here we got nothing there. There's a lot of wear and tear on that one, but that one's a key. Hold on for the D. 1973. Got a lot of gunk right up there. I probably, I probably rinse it off. Yeah, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of dirt and trash on him. I probably clean him up and make him more legible. But otherwise, he's not that bad looking. You can see a little dude right there. It. Almost looks like he has doubling in the columns. Because if you look right there, you oh, let's switch hands here. If you look right here, you can see almost doubling right there. Right there. Not really much right there or right there. And I think this is see that right there. That right there. I don't know if he looks doubled or not. But I'll have to do more research on that one to see if that one's actually doubling because it doesn't show it in all the columns. I mean, you sort of see it right there, but you don't see it in that one or that one. You slightly see it in that one. So I'll just do more research on that and get back to you guys. Next penny. Ooh, 1969 S. Nice. That'll add good to my collection. I can clean that up. Wow, look at all that scrap all over it. <laughs> I can clean that up, no problem. And he's just a regular penny. And let's see here. He has no floating roof. I just have to clean him up because he's just dirty as crap. But still, he's an S penny, so he's a keeper. And then the last penny 1981D. Uh, I don't know if I see doubling his bow tie or not. Let's do a comparison to another penny. 
Okay, that's just not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over 2003 penny, that should give you a better clear and clarity view. Yeah. Alright, let's zoom up on top of each other. Either or. Now, now that's the sound of the ball bounces. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And join me in my next installment of What's in Your Pocket. And if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them, and I'll respond to them as fast as possible. Till then, have a wonderful day. Bye.